In this video I'm going to demonstrate the Edity Google Drive um, plugin. Uh, if you're signed into Google Drive you can actually uh, create uh, files uh, like HTML files, JavaScript files and um, even CSS files and, in, and complete entire websites uh, through through Google Drive with the Edity plugin. And you can share, the, the great thing about it is you can share it with your friends. So you can see I've got um, two different windows open. I'm signing to do two different um, Google Drive accounts, and I'll demonstrate how, um, yeah, how you can actually share, you know, uh, the same JavaScript or CSS file um, with a friend while editing. So to add uh, Edity to your Google Drive account, once you're signed in, just click Create, click Connect to More Apps, and then just just type in the search for Edity. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll connect uh, the first one. That'll con that'll connect to the site. So just make sure that um, that is ticked. Let's click OK, and now your edit is con is added to the drive. And I'll just do that. For instance, um, your friend as well will have to have edit, so I'll I'll do it on this side as well. And I'll type in uh, edit here. Search and I'll connect. Just press OK. All right, and one last thing. I'll add another one. Edit here. So basically, um, this plugin here is actually um, enables you to edit entire websites, and I'll show you that in a bit. But this one, this these other ones are. Um, just for editing uh, sing, uh, singular files, so HTML files, CSS, JavaScript, and it's, it's quite self-explanatory actually. I'll just connect to the HTML one, and cool. So, in order to create um, an edit, edit website, I just click Create, click on Public Website, and if you have it shared with your friend, then you just allow that. Here it'll ask you to um, access your your Google account. Just click allow, and then accept, and then it it should redirect to the Edity website. All right. So once you've gone through um, this welcome step and you've read uh, the terms and conditions, scroll down a bit. Let's click done, and you should be. Uh, you should have a selection of like templates for um, stylish portfolios, um, full websites, screen, uh, what's, what's it called again? Slideshows, um, dynamic websites. So you can go through all of these. It's quite cool. So if you if you want to create one, what you should what you do is, uh, for instance, if I wanted a styled web page, a website, I'll just click clone. And then it will clone the project. Just click done when it's when it's finished, and then it should redirect you to Google Drive. Okay. So you'll be presented with um, a CSS and HTML window depending on what you know what's actually in the template so if a template has got a JavaScript for our PHP file then you would be um, it, it would create these sort of windows for those particular files so as you edit let's say for instance you want to add a p tag um, here whoops uh, my name is Omar. So as you edit it, it should preview within this um, this window here. Sometimes it does take a while for it to load up. Click one second. So this the refresh button, and there you go. It will show up there. Um, so yeah, I just I forgot that you've got to click the refresh button. And then you can actually stylize 
um, your tags. So if I was to say p uh, color, I'll have it blue. Then click refresh, and your text should be updated. So um, I'm not going to show you how um, your your friend could could come in and, and edit the, the site. So what I advise that you do is go back to your folder, right click on, on the on the folder because this is the, the template that you selected, the stylized uh, website. So if you click into it you should see all the, the files that are available to you. So just right click, you can either right click um, or just click this uh, little arrow called share and then you can change the the sharing settings. Uh, you could say that anyone with a link um, can edit, like so. Or what I've done is I've said anyone in my organization can edit it. I'll just click OK. Or if you have, if your your friend is using Gmail, you can just enter the email email address here, like so, and then click sh um, share and save. So it's that simple. Oh yeah, one last thing I, I forgot to, to mention. You can copy the link. So for instance, if you were to say anyone with a link can, can edit, just copy the link like so, and you can email them the link. Okay. So just make sure that you're signed in, um, you're using Chrome. Um, I didn't test it on Opera before I, I started recording this video. But nonetheless, once you've what yeah so you see you can see here that um, your friend is using the site you can see his cursor on the other side of the screen so um, that's really cool and you can also see if they were to type in let's say an image source tag you can see that they'll they'll be editing it on the other the other um other side. So I mean that's a quick you know overview of Edity. Um, I hope this is quite useful for group projects. So if you're having a number of um, people um, editing one site, they can do that collaboratively, and they can actually I believe they can actually upload images to the Google Drive um, folder. And they can share it that way. So, anyway, thank you very much. Um, like, subscribe, and um, share.